Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Welcome to First Eye Vision. <laughs> Listen to me doing a little jingle. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, y'all. Welcome to First Eye Vision. I am Q, and I am here to do a temperature read for Scorpios. I wanted to see what's coming in, going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. I will all as well with you guys. I will that this month is being closed out with a bang. They hate what they can't duplicate. And we got Notorious B.I.G. warning playing. So you got some folks. The Divine is warning. Look at this. Look at this combination. So you may have some haters that may be like really, you know, so jealous to the point where they may want to do some sort of spell or throw hexes and all type of voodoo and hoodoo and juju. But you know you protected. I feel like it's people that you blocked out. People you've cut off. So stay protected. Stay prayed up. You know, always wear your ambulance. Always wear your protective oils. My Etsy shop will be opening soon. Um, so definitely, you know, tap into that energy. Whatever isn't growing is dead. So I definitely feel like it's someone that you um, could have potentially been in a friendship, a relationship with, Scorpio, maybe even family members who, you know, tend to be a little jelly because you have been growing, you've been evolving, and they haven't been growing and evolving with you. And so you may have left their asses behind, left them in the dust. And so now with warning playing, the divine is telling you, you know, that there's some some potential for, you know, some sort of threat. There's like a storm warning. It's like a warning shot to let you know, like, don't put your guard down. Some of y'all have been like resting, rejuvenating. So you've been detached. And as I said, um, but you've also been, <clears throat> you know, in a this is more like that hermit mode, emotional withdrawal as well. Uh, some of y'all could have been recovering from some of the antics, some of the energy um, that you all were intertwining with, and it was really taking a toll on you. Um, right now, we have Ego Remix with Beyonce and Kanye West. So this is someone who has an ego. You know, they don't know how to let you go. They, this is someone who wants to win at all costs. This is someone who, you know... They want to be the one to, uh, you know, to be, you know, the victor at the end. So, you know, if you cut someone off and you thought that was it, no, this person's still trying to figure out a way to clap back, to get back at you. So be mindful because with the warning song and now you got ego and then we saw the ritual work along with um, the purge card. Um, it's definitely some saltiness there. They're still butthurt by your change, by your growth. I feel like a lot of you have been transforming. You've been evolving. And this is something that this individual is taking very harshly. Um, they're taking it, you know, they're taking it offensively. The, the fact that you've chosen to evolve and to grow. Give me one moment. Thank you. Sorry about that. So, yeah, somebody's definitely in their feels. Um, they're a little saddened. You know, uh, this could be how this person made you feel, you know, because whatever isn't growing is dead. That means that, you know, you, you were trying to breathe life into a situation that was dead, into a dead corpse. It's like trying to give CPR to a corpse, if you will. And it's like <clears throat> you can't bring the dead back. You know what I'm saying? Unless you you transform like Scorpio's rule, um, you know, death and reincarnation, rebirth. Uh, that's our energy. That's what we do. And that's what this person is not um, able to accept because maybe when they met you, some of y'all, y'all just, y'all were not who you are now. You know, maybe some of y'all weren't as confident. Maybe some of y'all were not as, as um, strong, you know, strong willed. Maybe some of y'all were, you know, self loving, weren't as self loving, I should say, because you were more self sacrificing. Maybe this person was so used to you kind of catering to them. And, um, you know, and this person's very egotistical. So you got to be mindful. Let me turn this down before I get a strike. Because last video I had to do some tweaks and that's why you it was a little chopped it was chopped and screwed baby because they caught that they caught that lyrics <laughs> them lyrics so i got to turn it down a little bit but i can you know I'll, i want y'all to be able to hear it so you know that you know the messages are coming through as they are there is someone at a distance i feel like some of you all your solar return is coming up so maybe y'all are booking flights to get up out and go and enjoy yourselves for your solar returns. Um, I feel like some of y'all could be taking trips or maybe someone will be taking a trip to come see you or maybe someone that is of significance is at a 
distance and they're you know you know interested in coming to see you so you know i was just picking up on the energy but let's go ahead and do my spiel so to all who are new welcome my name is q i am a scorpio i also am clairaudience so i do listen to music and i incorporate those messages into the reading i am also um this is a general so meaning eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply let it fly by definitely switch the roles it could be male feminine I, I i had someone comment and say why do my readings always come from the female perspective and i had to check myself because i do tend to do that um and it's because the majority of my viewers are feminine energy so i do pick up and speak from that standpoint so today i'm going to make it my I'm going to make a conscious um, effort to be more, you know, how do you say, um, neutral. <laughs> um, but this is a general. So, you know, you already know, like, if, it, if, if, if you ain't a girl and it still applies with you, just say, okay, that's me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're not a woman or, you know what I'm saying, but it's okay. Some people you got to, you got to. You got to kind of cater to them to make them feel better. So I'm going to make a conscious effort to do that. Um, also, so I heard you, beloved. I did hear you. So thank you for that constructive criticism. Um, also, this is general. So not general. This is timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. Okay. Um, so I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe, I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have um, auction playing by Puffy featuring Little Kim, Styles P, and King Los. Okay, so let's tap into an auction. So maybe some of y'all are giving some of this ish away from your ass, your last relationship. Like maybe, you know, some of y'all are like giving things away to like the goodwill. Um, maybe some of you are, you know, like donating some of the furniture, some of the clothing, some of the things that you had when you were in a partnership that kind of went sour. Um so that could be, you know, what I'm picking up. Maybe some of y'all are like decluttering, clean, clearing and cleansing your space and getting rid of things that remind you of the past. Um, a lot of you definitely took your pain, your power back just as I was picking up. Many of you were not uh, standing as erect in that form of relationship. And that's a sign that you're not in a healthy relationship if your partner doesn't like encourage and motivate and inspire you to be your best version of yourself if they gotta beat you down so that you feel like shit so that they could feel like they're powerful then that's not a good combination so a lot of you realize that and you took your power back because this person was trying to you know kind of like trying to take control i feel a very controlling energy remember ego did show up um hold on one moment i gotta turn this fan on i'm burning up baby sorry about that but yeah so a lot of you definitely um had to take your power back you know from someone who was kind of overbearing i'm picking up somebody who was really overbearing really trying to rule over you you know almost like that that emperor energy so, so for some of y'all that could have been like you know your husband, your wife, the mother to your child, father to your child, someone you could have been in a relationship with, or it could have been like a boss, overbearing ass boss, just kind of like, you know, someone who was just the um, micromanager, just kind of always fucking hanging over your neck to see what you're doing, just annoying. But, um, you know, the divine is reminding you that nothing happens to you. It happens for you. And a lot of that was uh, so that you could stand direct, so that you could take your power back, so that you could know you have a voice. You know, you don't have to take instruction. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. That 44, that's a very divine energy. Some of you may be seeing 444. Some of you may be 44. Um, 44 is a powerful number as well. Um, it breaks down to eight. So a lot of you have been receiving like divine messages. You're tapping into your divinity. 
um, which is to be creative, which is, and my throat chakra is blocking up as I said that. So, <clears throat> a lot of you are tapping into your divinity, excuse me, and your divinities for some of you may be to communicate more what you want. Express your needs once, 10, 10 on the clock. Um, you know, it's the end and the death of the old, docile, passive uh, you. And it's the rise of that more strong, uh, assertive, outspoken, self-loving version of yourselves. So on the bottom of the deck after the uh, cut, the <clears throat> we have the uh, tap and tune in. So many of you, as I said, trusting and listening uh, to your inner intuition, your higher selves, tapping into that Christ consciousness, um, really picking up on people's energy. Right now we have take it slow uh, by the summer set plan. Um, so I do feel like a lot of you are listening to your intuition when it tells you not to jump and dive into anything, just to pause, um, assess, to observe before you jump into anything. Read the fine print. We know that we're coming into Mercury retrograde next month. So that is um, a reminder for you not to speed into anything because the outcome may not be what you're looking for. So that's why it's very important to take your time to get things right. There's no need to speed any situation. There's no need for there to be a rush because good things take time to create. And we all know that. So <clears throat> let's tap and tune in. So let's see. Let's check the temperature for my beloved Scorpios. What's coming in, going out, going on. So don't sweat the small things. Leave the small things alone. All right. Don't sweat the small things. For some of y'all, somebody could be trying to bring you petty business. Somebody could be trying to be Patty LaBelle. So you have to know, you know, what not to pay attention to because a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. And I feel because we saw that you was in that R&R, &R, that you was all retreating, that you always kind of detached and disconnected from the outside world, not communicating. See how my throat keeps, keeps getting chopped up. Let me just drink some water real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone definitely, um, someone definitely is trying to, you know, bring you some drama. And the, it's almost as if the divine is telling you not to respond. You know what I'm saying? Someone doesn't, you know, someone, it's like the divine is telling you not to respond to the nonsense. And we got a song by, um, Alton Ellis, These Eyes. <clears throat> so I feel like, you know, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul. And if you look at someone's eyes, um, you will see, you know what I'm saying? You can see if there's like, if it's lifeless. Sometimes you look into people's eyes and you're like, damn, those are some cold-blooded eyes. You know what I'm saying? This mofolk is susceptible to killing somebody with them eyes. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's just blank. There's nothing there. You know what I'm saying? It's vacant, vacant if you will. I feel like what this is saying with the small things, like somebody is willing to like snap. So it's like, that's why they're telling you like, trust your intuition. Don't um, feed into anybody's antics. You know, don't feed into anybody's antics because it's possible that someone could snap and they're telling you pay attention to the eyes because it says these eyes. So for some of y'all, if somebody that you know, Scorpios, if you've ever looked into someone's eyes and it just seems like um, there's no life, it's lifeless. You know what I'm saying? That's that's somebody who's on the verge of snapping. And so that's why the divine is like, look, just just keep it pushing, um, pushing. Don't don't try to argue. Don't try to debate. Don't try to have no back and forth. Just leave them where they are, because it's possible this person could be like on the verge of a mental breakdown or some or snapping. And I'm not trying to alarm you. I'm trying to, this is a warning. Remember, warning was playing during the, um, you know, when I first opened up the reading. So this isn't to pump fear into anybody because we all know we divinely protected. But there's nothing like being um, prepared, you know. But somebody's definitely, you know, and, and, and I feel like the divine is telling you, pay attention to people's eyes, you know. And we are a very, like Scorpios love eye contact. I don't trust nobody that doesn't like to give me eye contact. Some people get so afraid of me that they be looking around. I'm talking about like grown men. Sometimes I be looking at them because, you know, Scorpios tend to, um, we have a very intense stare. You know what I'm saying? And it's because we are, 
we're we're literally trying to read you but <laughs> i know for myself you know i like to see if you mean what you say i like to have eye contact and, and there's been times where i notice that people look away from me when i'm speaking to them and it's because you know we have a very intense glare very intense eyes so i feel like when you're looking into someone's eyes um you're going to be able to see something you know or maybe someone is attracted to your eyes Maybe that's one of the small things they do love about you, you know, is that you have beautiful, intense eyes. That's another way. I got to give it. I just saw a gnat. That's why I'm swatting it away. But um, <clears throat> we have Nas, not for radio playing. So, yeah. So when something's not for radio, that means it's explicit. Like there's going to be some 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 things said. That can't be played on radio. Nowadays, you could say anything on the radio. These songs that are playing nowadays, I'm just like, how? But obviously, there's an agenda to dumb down society. And that's a whole other topic that we won't get into. But, um, yeah, so receptivity um, with that card. And I know it's spelled R-E, but I like to put that Ra because Ra, that's the sun god there. But um, so, you know, receptive. So be receptive. I feel like you got to be open. Maybe there's some things coming in, but we shall see. Let's see. Let's check the temperature. What's coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpio. So see that we got travel. So this card showed up during the pre-shuffle and, um, and it came out with forked tongue. So remember with warning and then the eyes, the eyes, Chico, the eyes never lie. I don't know why that's coming to my head. I think that was from, um, what was that? I don't Some movie. One of them gangster movies from the 90s. Um, the Eyes, Chico. Was that... What's that movie with Al Pacino? I can't even remember that movie. But that's... I feel like that's exactly what happened. Don't sweat the small things. Right? Because somebody was trying to bring you drama. You tapped into your intuition. Right? With this travel card, you created distance. You created space. You know what I'm saying? You created a safe space so that you didn't have to deal with someone who you discovered was a snake. I feel like with this tap and tune in, you that's exactly what you did. You, you started to look at, at things from a bird's eye view. And what you discovered was someone was full of shit. Someone was a liar. Someone was deceptive. When I was doing the pre-shuffle, the devil card showed up a couple of times. So, you know... Um, because I always pre-shuffle my cards before the reading and then I shuffle them up again. Um, but um, yeah, that devil card definitely showed up. And I see here that, you know, this person is, you know, they're, they're salty because you all are exhibiting a lot of self-love right now. You're focusing on yourselves. You know, you're treating yourselves better. You're putting yourselves first. You're not letting anyone dupe you anymore. You're not letting anyone play games or breadcrumb you along because you know your worth now. You know your value. You know you don't have to take anybody's shit anymore. It's like you deserve exactly what you de what you desire. And there's someone out there that's going to be able to give it to you. If that mofo couldn't, then they don't deserve you, period, point blank. You moving on to bigger and better. But you definitely created a space. I don't know why this gnat is here. And I looked up the spiritual meaning of gnats. And it was saying to always, um, what was the meaning? Dang, I can't pick it up. Oh, man, I can't remember right now. So we have 10,000 hours by uh, Jeanne. I can't remember her name. I don't want to chop it up. But, yeah, so you created a safe space. And um, someone may be lying through their teeth, you know, maybe trying to come back and giving you some fake-ass apology. But, um, you know, the divine is reminding you self-love makes you more attractive. That's why this person is coming back, too, because they, they, they're, like, they're being drawn to you because of this power that you have taken from them. And remember, this person is very egotistical. So they want to win at all costs. So they may come back, try to come back, trying to give you some fake ass apology. You know what I'm saying? But to Rama, the vine is remember to love, remind, reminding you to love yourselves first. So the vine spirit of love and light. What's coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios? Take your nature walks. Get out there. Have them nature talks. Go watch the sunrise. My son and I did that yesterday. It was absolutely gorgeous took a nice trail it was about a good two mile walk going and coming well not going and coming it was about four miles going and coming but you know we took a nice little walk to go see the sunrise i know exactly where to go to see it and so um some of y'all need to do that 
you know, we sat there, our sun gazed for about a good 10 to 15 minutes, felt recharged, you know what I'm saying? I love when I sun gaze and I see that little race around the sun. I don't know if some of y'all sun gaze, you know what I'm talking about, but it's like you'll see the right on the outline of the sun, it's like this light that kind of, it looks like it's just like going around, it's like it's being, it's chasing around the the sun outline it's beautiful I love it I felt so recharged so powerful but it's a good way to you know decalcify your pineal gland it's a good way to receive messages downloads to recharge you know so some of y'all need to do that after we you know sun gaze we walked barefoot back to the car <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> we we grounded ourselves you know I'm not pleased I don't care who be looking at I know people be like what's wrong with them folks they don't got no shoes oh yes they do it's in their hands yes I have shoes mind yours <laughs> mind yours I'm grounding myself I'm doing me right now do you drive to work have a great day <laughs> but we had a grand old time yesterday early in the a.m. but um some of y'all need to do that some of y'all need to just be spontaneous and just go take a nice nature walk. Take your shoes off. Don't be afraid. It's dirt. You'll be all right. Take a shower when you get home. But ground yourselves. You know, stick your feet in the gr in the gr on the ground in the grass. Um, you know, sit down even if you need to. You know, do some yoga outside. Uh, sit by a body of water. You know, talk to your ancestors. Connect to your higher selves. You know, listen. You know. Just be silent and just hear the instruction. But it's a beautiful way to connect. And I feel like, you know, that's what the divine is telling you to do. You're going to be able to see things more clearer. You'll be able to see people more clearer. Because that first eye, remember it was saying these eyes. So with your first eye open, you'll be able to see and decipher exactly who is who and what is what, you know. And I feel like with this nature walk here, that also helps to grind you and put you in alignment so divine spirit of love and light, what's coming in, going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios? And so we have clean, clear cleanse. And I was picking up on that energy earlier when I said that some of y'all was doing some decluttering. Some of y'all with that auction song, some of y'all are getting rid of, you know, some, some, some old clothing, some old, you know, some old furniture that you may have had when you were in a relationship and you're just ready to let it go because it's carrying an energy that you no longer wish to be around. So you're, you're starting to, you know, clean house, so to speak. You know, some of y'all could be doing spiritual baths. Some of y'all could be doing a little bit of anything just to purge, to release, to let go of what no longer serves you. And that's powerful in and of itself. Maybe after a nature walk, that's what you have come to. You've come to that realization. You know, I feel like you also realize who was the snake in your, you know, who was the snake. You realize there was a fox in your in your damn hen house. You know what I'm saying? And so now you're clean, clearing, and cleansing. You're purging. You're getting rid of people. You're cutting them off. And remember, someone was up in their ego about you cutting them off. They was not too keen to that. We got the king of cups on the bottom of the deck. But I wasn't even ready for that. So that shows that you're in your power. You're in your element. You're in control of your emotions right now, Scorpio. You ain't letting nobody, you know what I'm saying, throw you off your square. That's why we have small teams. So somebody definitely was just 23, 23, that's 5, 5, that's 10. So you ain't letting nobody try to trick you, trip you up with them old tactics, them old techniques, because you tapped in, tuned in. You know what I'm saying? You already see what, you, you already see. You see them coming a mile away. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even know. <laughs> you sitting there watching them. You know what I'm saying? You already know who's who. We got Jay-Z, I just want to love you playing. So this person may come around talking about they just want to love you. But remember, they said that's a forked tongue. You can't believe nothing this person says because they're deceptive. That's all they do. They spend their lives trying to deceive, trying to get over whoever this person is, male or female. This could be masculine or feminine, beloved. Whoever it is, they fear rejection. This is why they come off like that. Pompous, arrogant, egotistical. Because they was hurt. And instead of going and getting the help they need so that they could heal, they in turn wish to, you know, wage this war against every and anybody instead of healing their heart. They bring in baggage into situations that are already are, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's already full. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're going to have to like, you're going to have to like, that got, that baggage got to be shipped elsewhere. Can't bring that here. This, 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 this plane is, is, is filled to capacity. 
And they trying to bring on more baggage. So it's like you cleaning up your own mess and somebody trying to give you their mess to clean up. And it's like we ain't doing that. Look at that. They've been fugazi. Fugazi is being a fraud. Being somebody who's wearing a mask. Don't know how to be their authentic selves. This is somebody who self-deceives. They're just self-deceptive. They, they lying to their own ass. Because they're fearful of rejection. Maybe they were rejected when they was younger. Maybe their first love... Maybe somebody that they really gave their heart to broke their heart. And so instead of healing that pain, they instead want to cause confusion towards other people. 25, 25, 7, 7, 14, which reduces to 5. So they need to change. And they're not making the necessary changes. So they lie. They deceive. They say whatever they need to say to get what they want. Because they don't know how to be vulnerable. This is somebody who is afraid. And that's what you did. You cut that fake shit out of your life. You was like, I ain't got no time for the games, beloved. I'm grown, beloved. I'm grown. I can't be your daddy. I can't be your mommy. This is the energy of somebody who's like, done, done. I'm not, I'm not putting up with that. I'm, I'm, I'm over here doing the work. And because you don't want to do yours, I'm supposed to sit here and let you toy with me? Absolutely not. So you said snip, snip, snip. You know what that snip, snip, snip is? That's cutting the mofo off. So you took the scissors out, the big grand scissors, and you cut people off. And that's why they was frustrated. I told you, you cut somebody out of your life. Didn't I say that in the beginning of the reading, beloveds? That you cut someone off and they salty as hell. And now they want to come back and clap back. Warning shot. The divine is telling you, look at the eyes, Chico. Small team. Somebody going to come back with this petty ass game. Because that's all they know how to do. They resort to playing games because they're immature. This is like a grown woman or a grown man trapped, you know, I mean a child trapped in a grown man or grown woman's body. And we got ain't nothing going on but the rent by Gwen, what's her name? Gwen Guthrie. So yeah, that's what you say. Ain't nothing going on but the rent over here. Like, I don't have time for games. I'm busy doing grown man, grown woman things. This is what we're doing here. I'm a grown ass person here. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. I'm paying my bills. I'm staying focused. I'm independent. I'm taking care of my babies. I'm building an empire over here. Please carry on with your childish bullshit. You ain't got time for that. No time for fake ones. Snip, snip, snip. Choose wisely. Everything that glitters is in gold. So this mofo was chasing a tail. Or should I say chasing tail? Somebody was chasing tail. This is somebody who was so focused on getting attention... They thought it was glitter. It was. It, they thought it was gold and it was glitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was. It, it may have been packaged very beautifully, but they opened the shit up and it was like a lump of coal. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? It was just like people get distracted by the most ridiculous things. And remember, I said a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. Well, this fool ass mofo gave it their attention. And they engage in a whole lot of toxicity to continue to carry on like a goddamn fool. So they could have resorted to lying, deceiving, cheating, stealing, all type of crazy shit. And that's why you was like, I'm out. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> Peace, beloved. I'm on to bigger and better. You was like, I'm not sweating the small things. I know my worth and value. You know what I'm saying? If that's what it costs to get rid of your old no good ass, then peace be unto you. But that person was very toxic. And that's why you created that space. That's why you cut them off because you was listening to your intuition, which was telling you to pay attention to their actions and not their words. Because this person's words you was listening to for a long time and they had your ass trapped in mind fuckery. It was like, this is the, the ultimate gaslighter, the ultimate gift of gabber. They knew how to say things to make that shit sound even amazing. And you fell for it until you started to like really tap in and tune in. And I feel like many of you started to take nature walks and you started to see signs and synchronicities. Things started to like hit you in your head. Like you started to get knocked over the head with the truth by the divine. And that's when you said, okay, I'm ready to clean, clear and cleanse. I'm ready to release. I'm ready to let go. And that's when you started to focus on yourself. You yourself. Look at that. You was looking for somebody who was a like mind. Maybe this person was pretending all along to be that. Saying things that they knew was going to, you know, excite you. Or just kind of like duplicating you. Remember the, they, 
they hate what they can't duplicate showed up. So it's like somebody who's definitely watching you, studying you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can only wear a mask up for so long. But this person was definitely, I'm hearing the word mirror. So they were trying to mirror you. They were trying to be like you. They were trying to, you know, they were trying to be you. And that's the greatest compliment. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't when they, it's like that psychotic mess. Remember, I was saying somebody was unraveling. So we have protective bubble. That's what you all did. Don't disturb this groove. I said that. Y'all put yourself in a safe space. You retreated. You started to focus on yourself, on your needs, your wants. And you created that space by moving. Some of y'all moved away, packed up in the middle of the night. And this mofo woke up and nobody was home. All the bags was packed. Everything was gone. That was in your closet, that is. You let them keep all that other shit. You was like, I don't give a fuck about none of this furniture. I'm out. And you took your all of your... Things that have, was of value. You know what I'm saying? And you you left. But we have Lincoln Park here in the end. And so he says, I've come so far and got... Wait, how does it go? Give me a moment. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I've had to fall. To lose it all But in the end It doesn't even matter So that's what you all did Like you, you, you've you, come so far You know what I'm saying It, but to, And you lost it all Because like I said some of y'all left all that furniture Some of y'all left everything in that house That was of value because it didn't matter at that point All you wanted was to free yourselves And when you got away from that energy, when you got away from that toxicity, you felt very protective of yourselves. You put yourselves in a protective space. You created a safe space, a safe haven so that you can heal, so that you can nurture yourselves and grow and, and, you know, come into alignment, if you will. And I feel like because you did that, now you're going to start meeting other people who have been, you know, on that same journey, who've gone through the same you know, pitfalls, who've had the same toxic, you know, encounters, relationships. But I feel like in the end, just like the Divine was saying, nothing happens for you. It happens, nothing happens to you. It happens for you. And so that's what you're realizing and discovering. What did I say about you seeing synchronicities when you're out in nature? A lot of y'all started to pick up on the no, on the fact that like every time you looked at that clock, it was another synchronicity. Every time you looked out your window, it was another butterfly flying by. Every time you looked at a car license plate, it was numbers that was synchronized that meant something to you personally. So it's like now somebody is up in their head like, oh, man, no one in this world saw me like the Scorpio did. But don't nobody want to be with no damn sociopath or no narcissist. Nobody wants to be with somebody who has a lot of like emotional issues, traumas that they don't want to heal. They just rather like. You know, live off you, you know what I'm saying? Feed off you energetically, but not do their work. And it's like, you know, for some of y'all, you know, you are their life force. And that's why they're taking this very harsh. Because most people, shit, if something's ended, they just move on to the next. You're already out there cheating shit. It's nothing to just keep it pushing. But why are you holding so tightly to somebody that you obviously, you know, didn't respect? Because you resorted to the cheating, the lying, the creeping, and stealing, and all of this foolery here we saw the the fugazi energy so that means somebody was gaslighting the whole time and then when you finally had that aha moment that light bulb moment you said okay i gotta create space and you didn't sweat their their little shenanigans no more and that's what really frustrates them we got new edition playing i'm coming home so this person thinks they coming back to you and you like um <laughs> So music is my sanctuary for some of y'all. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. So many of y'all could be clairaudient. Some of y'all could actually be artists, musicians, singers, writers, producers. And this is what is helping you to heal. This is what's bringing you to truth, helping you to see things clearly. I feel like it's also telling me to listen to this song. Somebody wants to come home. Somebody may say, you know, might try to message you and joke just to see what your reaction is when they say, I'm coming home. And we got 8.30, um, 6 on the clock. It was 8.35. That's why I mentioned it because that 8.8 8 reduces to 7 and 7. You know, that's the crown chakra. Maybe that's what 
you know, that's like a telepathic message or that could be a literal message where they might message you and just be like, yo, I'm coming home to see what your reaction would be. See if you go and flip out on them like, oh, ho, no, the hell you ain't. You are at home. Remember, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But somebody definitely wants to come home. Yeah, they, they want to come home and we got pay attention to the signs. And what was I saying you all was doing when you was out in nature? He was paying attention to them signs and synchronicities. And I feel like the divine also said like, you know, because this card says exhale bullshit, inhale peace. And I feel like that's why the divine was telling you like, don't sweat the, the small things. You know, stay in your safe space. Stay in a space of peace, tranquility. Stay in this place of centeredness, alignment. Don't let nobody throw you off your square. You know what I'm saying? Like definitely stay in that place. Because somebody got played and that's why they want to come back to you. Because they got played for boo-boo the fool. And remember that, you know, choose wisely. Everything that glitters is in gold card showed up. So we, we know this person was chasing tail. We know they was chasing whatever the hell they was chasing. And it didn't turn out the way they anticipated. See that? The end. So don't sweat the small things because the divine is saying you have reached the end of a cycle, beloved. And this is grounds for, you know, for celebration. Like a lot of you have become very in tune. You have a deeper, more profound understanding of who you are, what you desire. You know how to love yourselves better now. I feel like a lot of you have gained a different perspective. A lot of you have knowledge of self. You have love of self. You know your worth. And you've become spiritually aligned so you're spiritually you know you have spiritual alignment and you also are wiser and you've become the alchemist it's because you realize you are the alchemist and you could create the potions and elixirs to life and you've healed you've healed yourself to the point where you are a, a healer now you know how to heal yourselves you know what not to pay attention to you know what is no good for you now ready to love open to the new so this is what this person can feel. They could detect that you are absolutely eventually going to attract somebody that's going to to love you right. And I feel like there is this distance. You know, maybe there's someone that you have on your mind, you know, Scorpios. Maybe there's somebody that you care for that could be at a distance. And maybe this this is them saying, like, I'm coming home. I'm coming home to you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of y'all are going back to your places, you know, where you grew up for your solar return. Maybe y'all move, you know, moved away from your, your hometowns. And maybe some of y'all are going to be revisiting family. Some of y'all are going to be going back to your hometowns for your solar returns. There's some sort of trips y'all are making. <clears throat> but I definitely feel like, you know, this is also speaking to the, the space you know, the safe space that you all created between yourselves and someone who was toxic that you could have been in a relationship with. And I feel like, you know, for that, you know, you've 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 changed your frequency and vibration by choosing to love yourselves, by putting yourselves first. I just saw a beautiful butterfly. It looked like one of those little yellow ones. So, yeah, there's something changing and transforming in terms of love. I feel like that's what that message was. And I feel like because I'm looking at these beautiful, lush trees and it's green outside. I just love looking out my window. Just beautiful trees everywhere. So I feel like the, the divine is saying that it has the potential to grow, to, to um, Dang, so now we got Faith Evans, you used to love me. So this is, I don't know why this person is trying to like hijack your reading, Scorpio. This X man, y'all got some psychotic mofos. Because whoever this person is, man, it's like they are kind of trying to hijack. Like even though you created the space, even though you let them know what time it wasn't, they're still trying to be. And remember, it was like that ego, their ego won't allow them to lose. So it's like this person is so adamant. They know you ready to love and you're open to the new. So now they sitting here talking about, they may message you, like I said, and be like, yo, I remember, you know, the way you used to love me, you know, because we did have that message like, you know, no one in this world sees me as you do. So it's like, we know they're reminiscing and replaying things, you know, and you never realize what you have till the shit is gone. 
But it's like you 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 not playing no more. You ain't got time for that. Let's see why this travel card is here. Why is travel here for Scorpios? Show me. So yep, this is the and then I don't do <laughs> See Scorpios, y'all got clapped back too. Y'all don't be playing. So y'all y'all like this person talking all of this reminiscent like just trying to, you know, trying to get you in the in the in the, some sort of like emotional energy talking about yo I remember you know the way you used to love me or trying to bring up these little memories and shit just to play on your heartstrings and you're gonna be like Shh, show me cause I like you don't want to hear words no more like y'all ain't y'all ain't falling for the okie doke it's just like look at this I don't, and you're gonna you you just might say look I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions I don't have time for words like if you don't know how to be affectionate to show love to emote to be attentive if you don't know how to show me that then I, I don't have no time for that but you already feel like yo this person disappointed you left you at times where you were most vulnerable where you were most um in need of their support of their love of their protection even and they just up and left because they got distracted by some some shit so it's like they got distracted by some some outside source whatever it was whether it was another woman another man um whether it was work whatever it was you felt abandoned you did not appreciate being left alone and that was a painful, you know, um, experience for you. And so now when this person is coming back talking about, I remember the way you used to love me. You don't want to hear that shit. You like, show me. Your words mean nothing. Like, they're going to have to do a whole lot of proving before you even consider dealing with them. Because you already feel they're deceptive. You already feel like this person is it, it cannot be trusted. You can't. You know, you can't trust them as far as you can throw them, so to speak. So, yeah, they've they've already proven to you that they had no moral compass, that they weren't a leader. You know what I'm saying? Or they weren't domestic. They were not family oriented. So you you're not putting up with that nonsense. You're definitely not going to allow yourselves to be in a you know a situation where somebody's toying with your emotions and going to have you in a situation that's going to confuse you. Hold on one moment, please. Sorry about that. My son is getting him his, his stuff together. But yeah, so yeah, you you definitely are like, look, I don't do well with people. And this is what you've discovered about yourselves, Scorpio. You discovered that you needed something more in your partnerships. Like you may have been in that relationship for a long time and this person wasn't fulfilling your, your needs. They just simply wasn't cutting it for you. And you realize that's something that you're not willing to compromise on anymore in terms of, you know, a partnership. You don't want to be in a relationship where you feel like your partner is not even um expressing to you how they feel or showing you through their emotions you know how they feel so we got a couple of cards here that flew out goodness do i take all of these this is so many cards it's like a thousand cards that flew out for this one message so okay I, they, i'm hearing expound so i will expound and then i'll resh put you know reshuffle them and then we'll see what comes back out so give me one moment I'm so uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. So, so we have watching me. So we already know this person's watching you from a distance because you've blocked their ass out of your lives. Um, we have to Dow playing. Um, so you know, yeah. So this person's definitely watching you. Um, they're trying to manifest you back because when you say to Dow, like ta da. Well, I'm thinking of ta da. So to Dow. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that means. But I don't know. I initially thought of ta-da when I heard that. Um, so it could be that they're trying to manifest you back. Somebody's definitely obsessed with you. They're watching you from a distance. And it's because you've created a space. You've blocked them out. And you don't have any dealings. You know, you've cut this energy out. It definitely was a karmic situation. And for whatever reason, this person does not want to let this end. You're not with the shits. You've had to rebuild. Someone's destroyed what you all were building and you've had to rebuild. So that's why you're not necessarily interested in this situation because this person has been deceptive the whole time. You don't even know if any part of the relationship that you were in was real. You got toxic behavior. That's what caused the destruction of this connection. That's what caused the ending. 
So someone was definitely dealing with addictions, you know, whether they be sexual or drinking or whatever. A thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. What did I say early in the beginning of the reading? And so that's what this person did. They were being distracted by outside sources. 444 on the clock right now. 4444 rather. It was. So that's a confirmation that somebody that you was dealing with, you know, and I feel like that's why this intuition card um, showed up because that 4444 four, four, four reduces to 88, eight, which is 16, which reduces to 7. That's crown chakra. So you receive some sort of download, some sort of message, some sort of inclination that someone was outside, you know, getting busy. Somebody was out there doing things they ain't had no business doing. And so now this is the same person watching your ass from a distance, trying to figure out how to come back to you because they know you're not with the shit, you're not with the games, you're not with the shenanigans, and you don't do too well to people who talk out of both sides of their mouth. You're not dealing with that. So they're fearing rejection because this has always been a fear. This has always been something that hindered them from being vulnerable, from opening up fully because they fear being rejected. They fear love. So... They now recognize that you are a miracle and you deserve the best. And they were deceiving themselves also to some degree. 45, 45, 9, 9. So they want to change something. This is the highest number of change. They also recognize that you're changing. And we have make your next move the best move. Because the divine is reminding you, let look. Whatever isn't growing is dead. That kept showing during the pre-shuffle. So if you were dealing with somebody who wants to return and they haven't even done their healing. They're still playing the games. They're still, you know, talking out of both sides of their mouth. Fork tongue wouldn't be here if this person wasn't still on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this person still has a lot of growing up to do. They still haven't changed. Toxic behavior done showed up. So destroy and rebuild. That's the same as the tower. What they destroyed, you had to rebuild. And that's why the divine is telling you like, yo, be proud of yourself because you discovered that you are a co-creator with source. You are the alchemist and you have the you know you have the power this is someone who's very powerful very magical you definitely created um <clears throat> you've learned to co-create i should say with source so this is a very powerful energy i feel like a lot of you are manifesting or attracting like-minded individuals you're attracting people that are on the same wavelength and frequency and this person is no is is aware that you're eventually going to come into um you're going to come into contact with some folks who will like you. Hey, baby boo. That's my little Katara. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is this forked tongue here? What's coming in, going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in, going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of love and light. Let's check the temperature. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So we have spiritually guided, divinely protected. So the divine, what did I say? Yes, baby. I love this. Show forgiveness is for you. So this is beautiful because the divine is saying, look, you already protected from this, this energy. So I feel like there's a blocker, blocker, blocker. I think not a, I feel like your angels, guides, deities are blocking you from dealing with this person because you're spiritually guided and divinely protected. But the divine is also reminding you to forgive. And we got 47, 47. And that's 1111. Okay. So that 1111 is a reminder that you are of um, a higher frequency. You are a spiritual being. So you don't have to um, walk around with anger, frustration, resentment, animosity towards anyone because you are tapped in, tuned in. And you know that people are not, you know, people, a lot of people are riddled with, you know, a lot of trauma. And they're products of their environment. So if they grew up in environments that were toxic, if they didn't have healthy relationships with their mothers, their fathers, you know, if they had some sort of childhood um, abandonment issues or some sort of uh, assault, you know, childhood, whatever, it's like that spills over and bleeds into who that person, you know, turns into or evolves into and I feel like this person is really someone who's been bruised and damaged and I feel like the divine is you know kind of giving you um that that intel with that 1111 that showed up that's like the portal that's like the download so the divine is telling you like look you needn't hold on to those feelings for that person regardless of how toxic regardless of how um how how unhealthy it could have gotten Remember, you teach people how to treat you. So not only did you have to do your healing, but now you have to look at it like they have healing that they have to do. And that's the only reason why this person has yet to take onus or accountability because they have yet to be to begin their healing process. So I feel for a lot of you, 
your being spiritually guided and divinely protected to, you know, continue the course, to continue moving forward, but also to help you know, this person by showing forgiveness. I feel like this person has broken many hearts. I feel like any person, you know, that they've been with, you know, whether this is a female or masculine energy that I'm picking up on, they've always broken hearts because they don't allow themselves to be vulnerable. And that's why you were saying, I don't do well with people who don't, who are detached from their emotions. And I feel like they just have difficulty expressing their feelings. They have difficulty showing, um, you know, showing vulnerability, um, being uh, open and transparent in that regard. And so I feel like that's why the divine is saying, look, you were spiritually guided and divinely protected the entire time um, that this partnership was taking place. This was a karmic lesson. This was meant for you to learn self-love, self-worth, self-value uh, because you started to tap in to your intuition and you started to discern more. Um, you were able to see that this was a toxic connection and that's what made you, you know, aware of the work you needed to do and also that you needed to clean clear cleanse purge yourself from that energy someone was definitely deceptive and we see that and the divine is telling you that you know their lies aren't hurting you this is someone who has trust issues drake is playing right now i can't make this up and i'm gonna let it play a little bit and then i'm gonna turn it down see that so trust issues by drake so that's what this person they struggled with trusting women because like i said i was picking up on men like i said when i was you know, in, um, you know, a couple of moments ago is that they didn't trust women because maybe they got their hearts broken. But this is somebody who clearly has trust issues. And this is why they, you know, this is self-deception. They lie. Um, they lie like a goddamn rug. You know, they lie to women. They break hearts. They move on to the next, on to the next, on, on to the next is what I'm hearing. And this is their MO. Please close that door. So, um, Katara doesn't run in and out. Thank you, beloved. Um, and so, yeah, so this person has trust issues, but you were spiritually guided and divinely protected to pay attention to your intuition, especially with that 1111. I feel like there's like I'm hearing run a chaser also. So some of y'all may be, you know, dealing with someone who you felt was, you know, your twin flame and maybe they weren't. It was a false flame because this was someone who, you know, just said anything to anyone with no meaning, no, no real meaning. You know, so, you know, let's tap into it. Why is nature walk, nature talks here? Thank you, spirit. You realize that this person feared rejection. Look at this, watching me. So this person is perhaps, maybe they're taking nature walks and they're having some com kind of conversations with themselves, you know, about what they're feeling and about, you know, what's transpired. They're definitely watching you, keeping tabs on you definitely um focused on you and what you got going on um because this person realizes now um you know that you know that you are the real deal and now they're realizing that their play aways may have cost them you because they truly love you i feel like they do remember i remember the way you used to love me was playing all these little hints they trying to hijack the reading um, they're definitely keeping tabs. I knew they was watching you. I knew that they was, um, you know, keeping tabs on you because this person doesn't know how to express their feelings. And this is why they resort to trickery, child's play games. They're very immature. Like I was picking up, this is like a child trapped in a grown woman or grown man's body. And this is somebody who, you know, their whole lives, they were players. You know, this was that, 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 this was that ice queen, you know, who got over by being just some type of gold digger and this is the brother who you know like banging a bunch of broads and you know had them in as trophies i remember when i was younger you know guys used to do shit like collect panties and put them in boxes like and then show their homeboys you know what i'm saying i know because i grew up around a bunch of boys you know so i would hear these conversations and they would collect panties you know what I'm saying? And they would be showing them and sniffing them and doing dumb shit. And I was just like, what kind of broads are these guys hanging around with? You know, like that these like that these girls would just subject themselves to somebody who just sees them as just a, like this trophy. But then you you got a question like you you attract what you are. You know what I'm saying? So somebody was definitely a player. And that and they, they got they had this get over mentality. I'm gonna get you before you get me, but this is somebody who is really hurting. This is not somebody who, you know, who was really that way. I feel like this person is really hurt. 
They got trust issues. Drake is saying trust issues. You hear that? Like, like they, they, they really got trust issues. So they, they're really hurting deep down. And they really fear rejection. And it's because they may have been rejected. Maybe by a mother. Maybe by a father. If this is a masculine, they may have had a very, you know, estranged relationship with their mother. If this is a feminine, they probably had an absentee father. But this is somebody who's turned cold, who's who's become more like, you know, like I was picking up vacant and it's the eyes. So maybe in the in these eyes, remember, you know, warning was playing. I feel like maybe, you know, if you look at someone's eyes, you'll be able to see the hurt, see the pain. But yeah, so let's tap in tune in. Why is the clean, clear cleanse here? For our beloved Scorpios. Keep it moving. <laughs> they oh, shit. I love I love it. I love it. Clean, clear, cleanse. So they're telling you, don't get caught up in the illusion. You can feel empathy and you can forgive, but you don't have to take nobody back, beloved. It's five 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 five. It was five five five. It's five five twenty-three. That's five five five. So that means keep it moving. Trust your intuition. The divine is saying it sounds good, but you know. So even if somebody been through some things, that don't mean you got to be a whole asshole out here. You can still learn. Like a lot of people change for the better. You don't got to change to be the most diabolical, bad, you know, low vibrational mofo in the world, you know. But I feel like you ain't bothered either way. You ain't delving in either way. Emotionally, you ain't giving it up. You know what I'm saying? This King of Cups is definitely somebody who's more reserved, you know. They don't show their, they don't wear their heart in their sleeve. And I feel like that's what you've all evolved into because maybe in the past you've learned like you can't be so kind and giving and nurturing to everybody because everybody don't deserve that part of you. Everybody don't deserve your love. Everybody ain't good enough to get it. You know what I'm saying? And we got words of wisdom playing by Tiana Taylor. So there's definitely like, that's, that's, that's a jewel for some of y'all. Pick that up. Pick that up, beloved. That was a jewel. And if you are giving your loving to everybody, maybe the divine is telling you it's time not to. So we got higher frequency. Look at that. This is the higher frequency energy, the high priestess. This is your energy. All Scorpios are intuition. I mean, are intuitive, are clairvoyant, are psychic. You have that ability to tap into your higher selves. And I feel like you all have discovered some secrets. You all know. You have a, a, a knowingness. See that? That's the betrayal. This is the destruction. This was trusting someone who was lying time after time, gave him chance after chance. You also discovered there was some other snakes in the grass. That's why you clean, cleared, and cleansed, purged, released everything and everyone that was not serving your highest good. And that's why the divine is telling you to keep it moving. It ain't about shit. You could forgive them because that's for you. Because that's what they were saying. You could forgive them. Show them forgiveness because that's for you. Let me show you that that's for you part. See that? That's for you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think when you forgive, it's for the other person. No, forgiveness is for you. But the divine is also saying your spirit you got in divinely protected. Meaning you got a purpose here. You know, whatever you was in the dark about, you now see clearly. You are not confused anymore. You know what you was dealing with. You know that this is very callous, calculated, you know, um, efforts to take you out. This is not people who love you, who going to stab you in the back with them big ass swords. This is multiple people who disappointed you, multiple people who lied on you, multiple people who cheated on you, betrayed you. Backstabbing is like the, wor the worst offense. You know what I'm saying? But you rose because you are the Scorpio. You transformed and you woke up. That ten of swords reduces to the ace, that ace. Ace of Cups cut you free from all of the bullshit. And it also gave you the ability to tap into your intuition and see everything clear as day. And we got justice. See that? So everybody, everyone that did this to you, they're going to receive theirs. This is what goes around, comes around, beloved. Karma has everyone's address. My mama art does not play. And you're going to get your good, your, your just due because you remain on your square and stay true to who you were. Somebody was out there partying, drinking, third party situation. Somebody may want to come back and reconcile. Talking about baby, baby, please. <laughs> Can you get back with me? See this? They want to come back home. This could be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because this two of cups definitely indicates this is like a spiritual union. This is someone that absolutely speaks the same love language. This is that equal give and take. This is someone that can become your divine counterpart. So that's a beautiful energy. This could also speak to business um, business um, partnerships. You know, you making some sort of uh, business partnerships. But I do feel like somebody, whoever's coming in, because you changed your energy, 
You know, this was that energy of you left me in my darkest times. Remember that? This is what someone did. They didn't realize you were their two, two of cups. They, they left you behind because they wanted to go chase after the glitter instead of the gold. And But you saw that you was persevering through that shit though, right? That's strength, courage, and wisdom. That's you taking your power back. You could have easily lied down and died and froze to death. Y'all wearing no shoes, in the snow, whole blizzard going on, but y'all keeping it pushing. You still moving. And we have um, Art Blake Bakley and the Jazz Messenger. When love is new. See that? So when love is new. Your love was new. You had good love. You had something that you thought was going to sustain. And then somebody came in between and broke all that shit up. They disappointed you. They disappointed. And it was because whoever this new person was. Remember whatever glitters is in gold. So it's like this was someone new. They got distracted by something new and shiny. Something that appeared to be more exciting. So when the love is new, you do dumb shit. So maybe this person thought they was in love with that person. Maybe they worked with this person. And they had a, you know, they were spending more hours with this individual. And they felt like, well, damn, you know what I'm saying? Everything that was, everything seems beautiful in the beginning. You know, that honeymoon phase. You know what I'm saying? So even though this person broke your heart, disappointed you, you cried many tears. You was completely in the dark about this shit. But you, you kept it pushing. You didn't give up. You kept it pushing. You did not give up, even when that shit could have broke you. Because look at this. This was what you had. Maybe this per this connection, this relationship was something where the two of you were able to like have it all. Like y'all could have been like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could have been that couple that everybody kind of looked up to in your family. You know what I'm saying? They thought everybody thought y'all had it together. Like could have lived in a beautiful home. Both of y'all could have had your money right. Could have been driving nice cars. All of the shit on the external looked amazing. But deep down in behind closed doors, there was heartbreak. There was a lot of foolery, fuckery going on behind your back. Maybe this was a relationship based off just the coins. Just based off the fact that, you know what I'm saying, there was a support system. You know what I'm saying? It was a codependent connection. But let's tap into it and see what's going on. See this? The Nine of Cups. Somebody realizes your wish fulfillment. I feel like a lot of you started to love yourselves more. So a lot of you started to like pull away from a situation. This Ten of Pentacles could speak to the end of that family dynamic. This is someone you planted root with, could have had children with, could have had, you know, a family, dogs, pets, all of that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Could have met their family, their, you know, but things crumbled. The Ten reduces to the Ace. So now there's this new opportunity for you to rebuild because we already saw the, the destroy and rebuild card, which means that there was a tower moment. So something ended suddenly and I feel like you walked away and found yourselves. You walked away and found, you know, that that ability to love yourselves. Because remember, love that self showed up and that's the epitome of this. You're being very selfish with your time, with your energy. You got your arms crossed. That's body language saying nobody's coming in to destroy this groove. I'm protecting my energy. I'm not open to anything right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really enjoying loving myself. There's joy, there's peace, there's happiness there. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what's coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. Knight of Pentacles. So somebody trying to come in. Slow offer. Look at that. Slow offer. Steady. This is slow and steady wins the race. This is somebody who takes their time to get it right. And this is because they love. They have a deep and profound love. This could be someone new. I definitely feel like a lot of y'all were waiting for someone to come in and offer you love. A lot of y'all were waiting, you know what I'm saying, around for somebody to show you something different. And it just never happened. Somebody took their time because they was out there playing the games. I feel like a lot of you started to heal and invest in yourselves as well. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody didn't come in, it didn't, you know what I'm saying? Even though it hurt, it didn't stop you from doing what you needed to do for yourself. So let's tap into it. Ooh, no, no, no. We ain't going to do that, y'all. We ain't going to do that. See, there's this, this somebody all scattered. Like this scatterbrained. Somebody scatterbrained. And this is that person. See that? There's, somebody got heart, heart got hurt also. But I also feel like this is you healing, recovering. This is that R&R, &R, rest and rejuvenate, rest and recuperate, rest and recovery, rest and um, recalibrate. You know, also taking onus, accountability, replaying certain situations, scenarios that played, you know, that happened in your mind. We have brand new heavies. I like it. You know what I'm saying? 
So maybe someone is going to be courting you. And this is someone who's going to, to show you. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that. Show me the way now. Yeah, so somebody's going to come in and show you. Like, they're going to take their time. They're going to get, like, they want, they're coming in to invest. And you're going to like that. You're going to like that because you're already healing. You already know what you want. You already know what you don't want. You're already healing past the pain. Remember the three of swords? Now you got the four of swords. So you're already healing past whatever disappointments and pain that you've experienced with that person. So what's coming and going out going on for Scorpio? See that? Look at this. This, this, this. I told you the devil. So this person likes causing confusion and, conf con, you know, con, um, causing conf confusion and destruction. They love doing that. But this person also, this is like obsession. This is somebody who's definitely like very toxic. They have a lot of um, addictions. This is someone who's like trapped mentally. And this is someone, remember, this is falling under small ting. So this person may try to come back and gaslight you, trick you. This is someone you've already ended things with. You're no longer playing with that person. This person also knows that you are, you know, co-creating with source, that you're manifesting new things into your life, including love. You've cut that energy off already. You see them for who they are. So this person may try to come back. You know what I'm saying? And it says, I like it. So you like, yeah, I, I, I like I like the games you're playing because I see you. Whatever cloudy situation you was in before, whatever you were confused about in the past, you ain't confused no more. You see very clearly this bird is right over her crown chakra. So you see exactly what it is and what it isn't. And so this person may try to come back. This could be somebody who's like, you know, like I said, very attracted to you sexually. But this is also very trickery. This is that trick knowledge. This is somebody very, you know, very, very much a liar, deceiver. The devil is a liar. And this is someone in their shadow energy. Like this, they, they operate and function from their shadow selves. And I feel like intuitively, you know, someone is coming in to offer you something real. Somebody curious about you. We have the emperor here. So this is, I told you I was picking up on that emperor, empress energy. You know, like, you know, the emperor, male or female, who is like very overbearing. You know what I'm saying? Very light. And look, here it is. So this person, the emperor don't show no love. That's why your ass was like, show me. I don't, I'm, I don't do well with people who are detached. So this person was too busy trying to rule with an iron fist, like trying to treat, treat you like you was, you know, a, a, a goddamn. Yeah, you created space, Scorpio. You couldn't deal with this overbearing, pompous ass. This is like the epitome of narcissism. My way of the highway. They think the sun rises and sets on their ass. Like this emperor. Is, look at this face. Mean mugging. Where's the love? Where's the softness? There's no. There was no emotional um, connection between you and that person. And you cut that shit off. Because you got tired of being treated and mishandled. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have time for that. And so this person here is like, you know, with this curious card. Now they're curious to know what you got going on because you've distanced yourself. This Queen of Swords is very logical. She's very intuitive and she also knows what to cut out. So you've cut this person out of your life because they wasn't showing you enough. And they wasn't emoting enough for you. You know what I'm saying? And you knew that like, you know, if somebody cares, they're going to show you their kids. If you are a priority in someone's life, trust and believe they're going to they gonna make the time for you. They're going to treat you the way that you're telling them you need to be treated. But this energy here is someone who just does not know how to do that. And we got the Queen of Swords. So yeah, you was able to see through this person's bullshit and lies. The one thing the Queen of Swords doesn't like is anyone trying to insult her intelligence. Because the moment she detects that, she's going to cut you off. She is spiritually guided, divinely protected. And the Divine is telling you, you know, don't turn into the Ice Queen. Don't allow this person to, like, turn you into them. Don't become a female or a male version of them. You be better. You be wiser. You know what I'm saying? Deal with them accordingly. But you've transformed into this energy. You know what I'm saying? Because you realize that someone was deceptive. And curiosity may have like, you know, 
curiosity. I don't want to say that. I don't like that. Oh, I don't know why I said that. But curiosity definitely piqued your interest and you may have discovered some things. You may have discovered someone was deceptive. Some Someone was lying because you saw something. You figured something out because that high priestess showed up. So maybe some sort of lies was told. Um, you discovered the truth. You know what I'm saying? You discovered what was really going on. Give me a moment. So yeah, so let's tap in tune and let's see why Fork Tongues is here. Yeah, but I feel like you're, you're because Curious is playing by Olive. Um, so yeah, I feel like you were curious about something and you did a little bit of investigating. Because, yep, you did some investigating and you discovered something. So let's see what's going on, Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Maybe somebody's curious about you. So we got one that flipped over. See this? We got the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you absolutely got some sort of um, new opportunity, some sort of, you know, new offer coming in. This is spiritually, you know, you're being spiritually guided and divinely protected. This is yours. So maybe someone, you know, that was deceptive, someone from your past is not meant to be able to, you know, enjoy this or celebrate this, you know, this success with you. You know what I'm saying? And we got Trife Life playing by Mob D. So the vibe is like, yo, show forgiveness. That's for you. But this gift that's coming in, this new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles, a lot of y'all have been working very hard. A lot of y'all have been like really grinding, working and busting your asses. Um, and now there's this, you know, this reward here for you all. There's this success, this, this, you know, this offer. This could be a job offer. This could be some sort of um, business um partnership this could be a bonus this could be some sort of unexpected money i'm hearing windfall somebody's going to feel real foolish you know because they, they they you know they they jumped out there and and landed in a pile of shit like it didn't take them anywhere and so this person you know might see you basking in all of this glory they may feel like you're their meal ticket you know what i'm saying and so they're going to lie to kick it say whatever you know and want this new beginning but the divine is saying trife life you know, trife life is playing by Mob Deep. So somebody is is real trifling. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we're talking about this this energy of forked tongue. So they'll say anything. Remember, warning, you got the devil here along with the uh emperor here. So this is a very cold, callous energy. This is energy that's very self-absorbed. You know what I'm saying? And they're childish and immature and they made foolish decisions and foolish mistakes. But I feel like you you have some new opportunity, some new abundance. Because when you look here, this always reminds me of the world card in traditional tarot. And so the world, um, you know, that world energy would allude to the fact that you all have completed a cycle just like this card here. This is my world card. So we see that, you know, after you complete the end of a cycle, you're rewarded. And so your reward is this Ace of Pentacles. So you're coming into a new cycle, a new beginning, and someone is trying to plan, plot, scheme. Remember, they hate what they can't duplicate showed up as well. And so that's somebody who's, you know, kind of a little jelly trying to duplicate your style, trying to be like you. So let's tap into it. Let me get one more message for this. Why is this forked tongue here? Thank you, spirit. So see that? Look at that. Can't make this up. Seven of swords. Someone who's deceptive. Someone who's deceptive. Someone who's lying, stealing, cheating, willing to do whatever to steal and take from you. See that? That's what this energy is. And what's this? See that? Look at that. This is this is someone keeping secrets. And I feel like that's what you realize. What this is clarifying the forked tongue. I said, let me see what else is going on. And these two cards jumped out together. This is a very callous energy. This is someone who is very calculating. They're intentionally doing things behind your back to sneak off with what you have. And they will do anything because they see that you are well, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're well off. You're doing well for yourself. So you're being spiritually guided and divinely protected. Your angels and guides know this person does not have your best interest at heart. And they also want you to know that. That's why this came out with this. So be mindful because this person feels entitled. That's why they're running off with three swords and leaving with you with two, which is that, you know, that mental conflict and confusion. This is the person that you've had a karmic cycle with. So this is the end of a cycle. This is completion. And this person's going to get their 
they're going to get theirs back because what goes around comes around. We obviously know that, but this also means this is the end of a cycle. You got the wheel in the world showing up. So that means completion, the end of a karmic cycle. I also feel like you're seeing things clearly. You have clarity. You've learned from this person. That was the whole purpose of this connection, this relationship. And I feel like they're watching you. They're stalking you. They're keeping tabs on you. But you're having this turning point because you've transformed. You've transformed the way you're thinking. You've transformed the way you're moving. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. But this is someone who's used to getting what they want by doing things maliciously, callously. You know, they don't work for things just. They kind of sneak and lie and cheat and do whatever to get what they want. They're willing to do whatever to get what they want. So, okay, something flipped over. But you're aware. See that? What was I saying? You're in tune. This is that energy of tapping, tuning, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're aware of their lies and they're sneaking around. You already know somebody's watching you. This is cla um, clarifying nature walks. And they fear rejection along with watching me. So you're fully aware that somebody's keeping tabs on you. You're, you're, you're aware of the secrets that they think your ass don't know about. And you're also aware that this person is in secret competition with you. That they lie like a rug. That they will steal, cheat. You've walked away already. And this person is so... Wasn't I saying like you walked away from someone, cut them off. You're not even playing the game with them. They think they won the battle, but you won the war because you completely detached. And they, this is something they've done to everyone. Look at all these different people who are like, you know what I'm saying? Retreating because it's like this person would do anything to win. And we have the charade. So this person may put on a charade, this act, you know, parade around like, yeah, Mr. Bravo. But deep down, this person is hurting. You know what I'm saying? They're bruised. They're damaged goods. And instead of dealing with that, they still, you know, they walk around like they don't care. They have this, this bravado, this energy like, I don't give a fuck. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, when they get home, they're crying tears. And they're stalking your ass. But you're aware you're in tune, you're tapped in, you're highly in, um, intuitive, you're highly clairvoyant, and you're already aware of the secrets because you are, you know, the keeper of ancient secrets. So you can't get nothing past you, especially when you was showing up as, you know, this high priestess and, you know, you had that energy of, um, you know, when you have a spiritual guidance and divinely protected, that's exactly what this is. You can't get nothing past no high priestess. I'm sorry, I don't care who you are. Savon Spirit of Love and Light. Why is Clean Clear Cleanse here? Yep. Clean Clear Cleanse. This person that broke your heart because they had a whole third party situation. What did I say about them meeting someone at their job? I feel like this person met someone at their job. And when you discovered it, it broke everything down. It, it destroyed this happy house. This was someone you planted seeds with, planted roots with. You thought that y'all was marrying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was leading somewhere. You invested a lot and you feel like you didn't get nothing. No return on your investment. This was someone you put a lot of time, energy. They did not fill your cup. You was waiting around. What did I say about you waiting? You was waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody to make an offer until finally you said, okay, it's time to cut this bullshit off. I see clearly what's going on. This person was putting on this charade, this act. And the vine was telling you, like, look, keep it moving because they ain't about shit. It's time to clean, clear, and cleanse. So that's why you all started to, like I was picking up with that auction song, Y'all started to give away some of them clothing to the Goodwill. You started to give away furniture. You started to sell, sell things on OfferUp, on Craigslist, whatever. You was just cleaning your space. For many of you, you just up and moved away, period. But this person completely broke your heart, betrayed you. And this is because they had a whole affair on the side, even though they were committed to you. But not really, because you ain't committed to somebody when you got whole third party situations. So somebody thought the grass was greener on the side because, you know, we, we all spend more time. We don't realize this, but you spend more time with your, your coworkers, you know what I'm saying? Then you do your own family. So somebody was really spending a lot of time with someone and they, you know, they started to fall in love with this person or so they thought it was more so fall in lust. But when you discovered that, when you realized that truth, off with their head. You cut them off. You X them out of your lives for good. So let's clarify these messages. The charade was over. Look at this. The Ten of Cups. 
So you was once happy with this person. You thought that everything was beautiful. You thought this connection was going to last forever. This is that happy house, happy spouse. This is that emotional fulfillment and contentment. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So this was a happy situation at one point in time until it turned sour. But this person betrayed you. Look at that. The end of the cycle. You had to learn what you learned from this person. They came into your life to teach you. The world showed up twice. So the divine is confirming that you, when you walked away, you learned exactly what you needed to learn. And we got the cops shot, shot the kid by um, Nas. So divine spirit of love and light. Divine spirit of love and light. What's coming and going out? Going on. We're going to clarify these messages. We're going to clarify. Someone's confused, trying to figure out how to come in and apologize. All right, let's tap in, tune in. See that? Look at that. Three of swords. Someone shot they cut. I feel like someone, you know, how do they say when you shoot your shot? They shoot that. They shot their shot, all right. But it didn't get them nowhere. It got them heartbreak, too. Because remember, we had player, player from the Himalaya. So somebody definitely, you know, they met who they were. You know, you, you attract what you are. But they definitely see that. This is distance that was created after disappointment, betrayal, traveling. Someone may be messaging you. Maybe someone may be trying to come to you. But you walked away. You know, you were unfulfilled, emotionally bankrupt. Your cup wasn't filled. All eight of theirs was. Yours, one little cup wasn't filled. That's great disappointment. You know what I'm saying? Divine spirit of love and light. Let's tap in tune and see what's coming and going out, going on. Clarify these messages. So look at this. You beautiful, divine, feminine, divine, masculine. This is you tapping into your divine power. You know who you are. You know your worth. You know your value. Remember, um, self-love makes you more attractive. Showed up. Love that self. This is you loving yourself. This is you knowing your worth. This is a nurturer, a lover, a supporter, a master manifester. She's very powerful. Someone's coming in to offer you love. Someone sees your worth and value. Maybe someone took their time to offer you love. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like someone definitely wants to shoot their shot because we got um, Nas playing the cop shot a kid. So I feel like someone wants to shoot their shot with you. They're very attracted to you, drawn to you. Many of you are creating. Some of you are entrepreneurs. You're growing a business. You could be in the beginning stages of starting a business. We did have hone your skills, hone your gifts on the bottom of the deck of the um of my tarot cards here so I do feel like some of y'all are creating you're birthing new ideas new creative ideas new projects new ways of thinking there is love offers coming in from you for you someone definitely loves you deeply passionately they're obsessed with you attracted to you I feel like you know there is someone who wants to come in see that it came right back out <laughs> came right back out this devil is obsessed this devil has not communicated their deep love, their deep passion. Maybe this is speaking to the deep healing you needed to do when you dealt with that um, with that devil energy because we do have the world card right underneath that, and that's the small things. So a lot of you, you know, healed from dealing with someone who is very toxic, someone who is very low vibrational, someone dealing with, you know, in their shadow side, someone who has addictions, someone who was trying to be in a codependent connection with you, or may have felt like, you know, they, they this this attachment to you. And we have my people hold on. So somebody's trying to hold on to you. And we can see that with this chain binding them to you as I was speaking about codependency. So my people hold on by Eddie Kendricks is playing. And so this person definitely um, has a love. You know, they have a deep love, deep passion, but they have a toxic way of showing it. They have a very toxic way. Of, of, you know, and I feel like you're manifesting new love, you know, to to make you forget about that past shit. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, somebody's looking at things from a different perspective. They was forced into this position and they're having some sort of aha, epiphany, grand epiphany, light bulb moment going off. You know what I'm saying? And this could be in, you know, regards to how they treated you, you know, perhaps what they needed to do or what they should have done better in the partnership with you. Why is travel here? Why is travel here? Followed by the emperor. Divine spirit 11. Why is the travel card followed by the emperor? And I don't do well. Show, show me. Scorpios. Thank you. See that? Ten of Pentacles. So you was definitely dealing with someone. The Ten of Pentacles came out twice. So you created distance. This person that you was in a partnership with, you moved away from them. 
This was the end of that relationship, the end of that connection. This person's trying to hold on to you, but they still have, you know, an inability to give you what you need because they are egotistical. This is the epitome of ego, you know, bravado. You know, and and yes, y'all would be, you know, like that 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 optimum couple, you know that what do they be calling goals and all of that shit? I don't, ain't nobody goals, your goals, you know, but that's that would be the epitome of that. Like I said, y'all had this partnership where other people admired it. They thought y'all was like, you know, y'all was y'all was the shit together. But this person was trying to like control you, roll rule over this union. Very narcissistic, my way or the highway. They see you as a star. I feel like a lot of you had to heal from that connection as well. Take your power back. Learn that you are, in fact, the alchemist that the divine was saying initially. You know, this is someone co-creating with source, with universe, knowing how to create the potions and elixirs to life. You was dealing with a whole hoe, and that's what you're healing from. Somebody who was in and out. Somebody who was, you know, pessimistic about the connection. Someone non-committal. Someone who likes to be the playboy. This is that player player from the Himalaya. In and out, toying with your emotions, telling you what you want to hear, what you want to feel. And you was completely vulnerable with them, but they were not vulnerable with you. And this is what you were saying. I am. I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. Well, this emperor is detached as well as this knight of wands. Knight of wands is ruled by their phallus. This is someone who allows others to, you know, entice them. This is a sexual deviant also, you know, and this is what they rule by. They go wherever the, the attraction is, the sexual attractions, the addictions, that's that energy. And they was ruled by their phallus and they allowed others to, you know, use sexual magic on them. And this is that 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 rendered them weak. You know, whoever that is, masculine or feminine, but you are a star. You had to heal. You turned your vulnerability into a superpower and you found emotional balance. You've grounded yourselves. You released what wasn't serving you and you created something different for yourselves. Why is this forked tongue here? Why is forked tongues here? Why is forked tongue here? For divine Scorpios, divine spirit. Why is forked tongues? Thank you. So someone was lying about their feelings, lying about their emotions. Someone was lying to you. Someone was definitely, this is self-deception because we have, look at this, emotional manipulation, telling you what you want to hear, being intentionally deceptive, forked tongues. This is someone definitely like lying, you know, but you saw the truth. You know, this king of swords speaks to you, cutting what wasn't serving you. But I feel like someone was definitely emotionally manipulative, lying to you, telling you, you okay? Yeah. Telling you what, you know, what they think you want to hear. The divine is telling you, show forgiveness. Love yourselves. Love yourselves enough to know when something isn't serving your highest good. But this person definitely, especially with all these cards here, this is what they was doing. They was lying like a rug, being deceptive, being dishonest, sneaking around. The King of Swords is here. I feel like there was a lot of emotional manipulation as well. A lot of mono emotional manipulation. Let me get one more card. My spirit, why is this King of Cups here? And that could be some of y'all. Some of y'all could have been deceiving yourselves and lying to yourselves. So we have the Ace of Wands. We got the Page of Swords. And we have the Queen of Cups here. So this is someone who's discovering, perhaps, you know, that you all do have some sort of you know, soul tie. This person does watch you. They watch you, stalk you, keep tabs on you. This is someone who's very attracted to you. This is also someone who wants a new beginning. And we have the Murphy man. So Murphy man, I'm thinking of Murphy's law. So I feel like it's telling me almost, why did I, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to turn it down, but it's almost as if like, you know, it came to me in Murphy's law. They say like anything that could go wrong goes wrong. That's Murphy's law. So, you know, I feel like everything that could go wrong with this partnership was going wrong. And I feel like, you know, because, you know, maybe this is a, a soul, you know, this is a soul type. We all meet soulmates and soulmates are designed to teach us, you know, powerful lessons about ourselves 
but I feel like a lot of you discovered, you know, there was a lot of lies, a lot of trickery, a lot of games, a lot of manipulation. This person spies and watches you, and we did see that with the watching me card, and then we have the empress here, I mean the um, high priestess here. So there is some energy of like, you know, the, the, maybe this connection, the divine is saying is spiritually guided and divinely protected. Maybe someone new is coming in who has been deceiving themselves about how they feel because we do see this ace of cups the page of swords is here so there is someone who wants to communicate and express something maybe that's why fork tongues is here because they haven't expressed what they want to say and this is not an ex this is new energy this is someone could be runner chaser type of energy you know someone who was deceiving because this seven of swords can be self-deception you know trying to trick you know, trying to lie and connive and pretend like they don't feel what they feel. But deep down, we know they do because it already said that they fear rejection. Someone's fearing rejection. Someone wants to come in and say something, but they're fearing rejection. Maybe this is someone younger than you, someone who's doesn't, um, you know, doesn't know how to say the words, formulate the words. But there is this desire, this passion, this attraction. And we did see that here with the... Um, you know, with the devil and the ace of cups. So that's love. That's passion. This is also someone who desires you passionately, but also wants a new beginning, a new start. We got the five of so um, wands. So there was a lot of competition, a lot of confusion, and a lot of dadunt dadunts in somebody's head. You know, trying to turn them against you, trying to turn them against this connection, or even just the competition. Like I said, so we got the six of so um, pentacles here. So yeah. So someone was definitely, you know, used to giving to multiple people, breadcrumbing you along. Now they're watching you. They're fearing rejection because they know that you're not putting up with their bullshit, that you've awakened. You know what I'm saying? That you're fully aware. You see through them. You know what I'm saying? You see through the bullshit. You've cut them off and you've transformed. You're not even the same person. They don't even know how to approach you. So this person definitely recognizes the changes, the transformations, and the fact that you've deaded this situation. You've ended it because it wasn't serving your highest good. And also with that, you know, lesson already learned. And remember the, um, um, you know, no time for fake ones and purge showed up. So that definitely shows that you all, you know, woke up to some sort of truth was some sort of truth was revealed. But this person was so used to, you know, playing games and toying with people's emotions for a long time, giving to multiple peoples, having you caught up in some sort of competition, some sort of, you know, Love triangles, regret, remorse, feeling a lot of remorse, ruminating, not getting rest at night. You can't sleep on a guilty conscience. So this person's up at night. They probably have a nightmares. This person's definitely riddled with regret. And it's because they knew that they messed up a good thing. See that? This is that person. They realizing, you know, when they feel like it's too late because this is the same energy here. You know, that same Seven of Swords showed up here under Forked Tongues. So all of their lies, all of that shit is catching up to them. Something may come to light during this um, Mercury retrograde because you know how information comes out. The past always returns. Someone's going to return and come back. You may discover, you know, a lot of the, you know, little blanks, you know, the little things that you didn't know you might discover. You might find out about it now. But someone's in their head because they're looking back at how they behave. Like a damn fool. And deep down they love you. But they fear rejection. You know what I'm saying? Because they have trust issues. Just like Drake was singing. So why is clean clear cleanse here? Clean clear cleanse. So you kept it moving. Somebody definitely wants to reunite. Somebody wants to come back. Talking about be. You know can we. Can we. You know can we reconcile. Can we try to heal this. And the divine is telling you look. Clean clear cleanse. Keep it moving. They ain't about shit because somebody's still drinking and partying. And when somebody drinks, they definitely are impulsive. When somebody drinks and get around certain people, they act confused. They still got options. They still don't know what to do about you. They still play them. See that? That's why the divine was saying, see that? You can't make this shit up. Seven of, pen, seven of cups with the knight of, pen, um, knight of wands. The divine is telling you, look how you're blocking out anything that doesn't serve your highest good. This is the nine of cups. Somebody realizes you're their wish fulfillment, but they're not yours. And that's why your body language is closed off. And your smile, you're like, I'm, I could do good by myself, beloved. I don't need any of this. This is impulsive energy. This is someone coming in, rushing in. But they still confused. They still going to have you trapped in confusion. 
And the divine is saying, uh-uh, this person may want to reunite, but look at this energy. Look what's coming back into you. Stay focused. Clean, clear, cleanse, and keep it moving because they ain't about shit. But that is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope that this resonated. If it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. And thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. And if you are new, I hope that you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank you so much. This reading is beautiful. It shows your power. It shows your resilience. It definitely shows that somebody's trying to hijack, come back. We always know, like, you know. People want to return after they realize they didn't really break you. This person definitely seems like they're having some sort of epiphany, but I feel like it might be too late. The divine is definitely saying this person's energy is still off and you need to keep it pushing because you got bigger, better, greater awaiting you. So keep it pushing, beloved. You got the Ace of Cups. You got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Wands here. You are in Empress status. So your divinity is creation. Continue to create. Continue to be your best versions of yourselves um, for male and female energies. I tried to be mindful not to just speak from the feminine perspective i hope i you know i hope that uh, satisfied you that commenter who made that message but thank you so much i love you all until next time ashe